It's the most tremendous new musical experience you can have. All right, what's up, y'all? It's Logan, and I'm here bringing y'all a review to something that I normally would not even think about doing. That's right, I am doing a, ref a review to Flight's newest album, only album, debut album, Walkin' Dub. Uh, yes, we are talking about Flight Reacts, not your average flight. Um, FTC, Flight Crew Stand Up, y'all know who I'm talking about. Yep, um, you know, the YouTuber, he does a lot of 1v1s in basketball where he often loses. Uh, and then he does a react to different things from NBA games to his own videos to other people's 1v1s. He does a lot of trash talking. He does a lot of defending of his own stuff. But, you know, I mean, he puts on a character for a lot of those videos. I ain't gonna lie. Um, I think it's kind of funny. I do enjoy watching his videos a good bit. Sometimes it gets a bit annoying because the man has no basketball knowledge whatsoever. But like I said, it's all an act. You know, he just messes around. It gets more views. No shame in that whatsoever. Um, I'm, I'm sure he's a lot smarter and more capable than he actually portrays himself to be. Um, so, like I said, he's a funny dude. I enjoy his videos a lot. Um, and I mean, he just puts on an act to get the views, and it's worked, you know. He's made some money off of this stuff. He's got a couple million followers, subscribers, so, I mean, no, no shame in that. I mean, he was able to put out a freaking rap album just for the heck of it. Like, I, that's, that's kind of where when you've made it, right? Um... So I'm going to go on in on this one with the pros. Well, first of all, um, it's not that long of an album. I mean, okay, whenever you consider it is by a YouTuber and it's just like a vanity fun project, you're not really... Uh, almost like the same thing with KSI's album. Um, yeah, it, it is a little long in that sense. 12 songs, 28 minutes. So it's more than you want to sit through, technically speaking. But, I mean... No, not long at all, really. Pretty easy to get through. Most of the songs clock in at like two minutes average. Um, so nothing wrong with that. Um, the pros about this one, people love Clown and Flight. So, I mean, I guess technically you have more material if you don't enjoy this album. You know, you can clown them even more. Like, oh yeah, you can't ball and now you can't rap. You know, something like that. Not that I'm not saying that's my opinion. I'm just saying that's something that I could see people saying. Um, some of the beats are pretty cool, honestly. The production is not horrible. Again, obviously, he has that YouTube money, so he can afford decent production. It's not like he's just a SoundCloud rapper out here putting out the best that he could do on, on a budget. You know, he has a little bit of a bigger budget, so there's nothing wrong with that. Not the same budget that KSI put into Dissimulation. Now, let me get that straight. KSI's production, it was way better than this production, but regardless, I don't mean to compare them to too much, even though I'm going to draw that comparison multiple more times throughout this video. Um, it definitely has its funny moments. I mean, Flight, like I said, Flight's a funny dude. So it has its funny moments. And he does change his style up a bit throughout some songs. Um, so like, uh, with songs like My Pretty Lady, he does a more, um, slow and introspective love, love type track. Uh, which breaks up the monotony that he, that you do find on this album at times of sex, bragging songs, um, that are found pretty much over subpar 2000s trap beats. Again, production's good, but it gets very repetitive. And that takes me into my cons. First con being, let's be totally real here, this, this is terrible. I mean, it's bad. But you're not mad about it because you go into it knowing it's bad. It's almost like whenever you go into the movies and you're like, oh, I know this movie's going to be horrible. But it's going to be fun. I'm going to have a good time. I'm going into it with my bros. I'm just going to watch it and laugh and pick it apart. Probably get really drunk or something. You know, something like that. That's how I feel how this album is. It's like a guilty pleasure. Like, oh, man, this is so terrible. But dang, it's funny. Let's just play this, y'all. You know, something like that. Um, like I said, most of the beats are subpar while the production is not horrible. It's not... As bad as you'd expect from a first-time rapper, it's still pretty bad. Um, the bars, I mean, come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. What do you expect? That takes me into the bad bars section. I'm not going to be doing a standouts because let's be real, nothing really stood out to where I was like, oh, yeah, you know what? That's a redeeming quality. I'm just going to talk about the bad bars on this one, all right? So um, first off, and I'm just reading off of my notes here, we got, heard you had that snapback because you'd be such a capper. I mean, I get it, but it's not like I haven't heard this line a million other times by better rappers with better delivery and wording it better so you know I, that, that's not the worst but it's not bad um it, it's not great either though all right so next we got smoking weed with my shoes off because that ish be might be laced uh, of course i'm doing the clean version here y'all know how i do on this channel um yeah <laughs> 
really you're comparing your weed to um shoelaces like that's clever okay but um again this is, this is just what you come to expect on this one I, I i'm just here to make fun of it because that's kind of what it's for it's just here to be made fun of you know no shame in that um you got okay now this one was just bad this one uh, again it's one of those where you go into it knowing it's going to be bad and you get a laugh out of it it says his girl keeps effing with santa claus because all she do is slay <laughs> Like that that's a twenty twenty M and M line, honestly. Not a two thousands M and M line. That's a twenty twenty M and M line. Alright, and then finally the last one I'm gonna point out, I saw my ears and neck, call it glacier. That was just dumb. Like that one's not clever or like you know, the last one was a little clever, even though I've heard it a million times. It's just clever and funny to hear it with that kind of delivery. That one this last one, I saw my ears ears and neck, call it glacier. That one's not even clever. That was just dumb. So regardless, um, Getting into my conclusions on this one, I'm not taking it too seriously. Like, of course, this is all for the memes. Um, I even I even read the genius for the last track on there, the one that was released as a single, disingenuous. Um, and what he described with that track was that he found the beat and it was titled "Disingenuous," right? Um, and he just wrote the song, and then I think. It was either he wrote the song before, right before looking up the definition of that word or right after. Either way, um, the song actually does follow what the definition is. It's talking about a girl who's um, kind of shady, kind of sus, you know. Um, but he pronounces the freaking word wrong, y'all. That, that, I mean, that's how you could tell what you're getting from this album. He calls it disingenuous instead of disingenuous. It is what it is. Like, he literally even said that. He's like, you know, I realized I was saying it wrong, but it was already done. I enjoy, and, I, and it was fun. It kind of fit the tone, you know? And it kind of goes with his um, getting high all the time, um, just laid back clown personality that makes his channel so accessible and fun at times. Um,. But I mean, again, this is all for the memes. He literally says at one point, you know, his catchphrase, look at Curry, man, so inspirational. He says, look at Flight, man, so inspirational. You know, I just thought that was funny, y'all, in that comparison to himself. I mean, he's got a hilarious persona, um, and it works for this, honestly. Uh, obviously, it's terrible, you know, the terrible bars, terrible delivery, not so great production, very repetitive, constantly talking about stealing your girl. I mean, I really feel like I'm listening to 2000s rap if SoundCloud was around and people tried it back then, but it was someone with a little bit of more money, you know, than your average SoundCloud rapper. Um, but again, if you're a Flight fan, you're going to enjoy this. If you don't like Flight, if you think Flight's annoying, my God, do not listen to it. There's no point. I mean, like I said, if you, you're only going to like this and enjoy this if you're a Flight fan. That being said, being a rap fan, you're going to know it's not actually good. You're just going to enjoy it because of the memes. Because you don't go to Flight because he is the best basketball player. He is the best NBA commentator in the world. You go to him because he says funny stuff that makes no sense. And that's kind of what you're getting out of this one. Um, like I said, as a Flight fan, it's cool. As a rap fan, it's some of the worst music I've heard all year. Um, looking at this from an objective standpoint... It's bad. <laughs> uh, again, looking at it from a flight standpoint, it's a must listen. You got to listen to it because you're going to enjoy it. Um, however, being the way that we do this channel, I am going to have to say from a music standpoint, this makes KSI with the simulation look like Nas with Illmatic. Okay. So at the end of the day, I am going to have to go with my rating on this one being a trash one out of 10. Again, nothing wrong, nothing against this album. It's just objectively speaking from a music standpoint, it was absolutely horrible. But, you know, it's flight. I enjoy it. I'm going to go back to some moments on this one. I'm not going to lie. Not because I actually like them musically, but just because it's flight, you know? Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to put this one on my end of the year list as the worst album of the year because I'm not considering this on the same level as something like... Um, NBA Young Boy with, uh, what was it, 38 Baby 2. I think that's what I have as my worst right now or anything like that. You know, I'm not going to put it up there with that because this is completely different. Again, this is a vanity fun project from a YouTuber. This is not an album that was released by someone who was trying to make a career and make a living off of rap music and just failing. You know, again, this is just someone who's having fun with it. They're not taking it that seriously, so I'm not going to throw it up there on the same level as those, you know? It is a 1 out of 10, absolutely. Worst album I've heard all year, but it's just not, it's not comparable. So that being said, 
Have y'all listened to it? Are you fans of Flight? Let me know what you think about him. If you're not a fan of him, I don't recommend this one. Please don't listen to it. You won't like it. Um, but regardless, make sure to hit that like button, comment, sub, hit the bell next to my name for notifications when I post new videos. I appreciate y'all so much. FTC, Flight Team Stand Up. Gotta say it just for this video. But again, I appreciate y'all so much. And I will hit y'all up next time.